Hello, Physics Nation. My name is Nate Larmond, and I'd like to do a Khan Academy problem from the set called Static and Kinetic Friction. A six kilo box is at rest on a table. The static friction coefficient mu sub s between the box and the table is 0 0.4, and the kinetic friction coefficient mu sub k is 0 0.2. Then a 30 newton horizontal force is applied to the box. What is the best estimate of the magnitude of the box's acceleration? So it sounds tricky, but once you know what some of these words mean, uh, it's easy. So that's the mass, and all you do is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So 6 kilos weighs about 60 newtons. Uh, this is not 6 kilos, but let's pretend the calculator is the box we're talking about. So we'd have a downwards force of 60 newtons, but my notebook pushes up on it with a positive force of 60 newtons. That's called the normal force. So the normal force determines the friction force. See, the weight of the calculator doesn't change, but if I push down on the calculator, well, now there's more normal force and there's more hookup, more uh, purchase, more friction between the two surfaces. And we call it the fun equation. So friction equals mu multiplied by the normal force. And like I said, the normal force is the weight in this case because it's in vertical equilibrium. So what are these mu's? What is this so-called coefficient of friction? Well, it's just a ratio, all right? So it's just a proportion. If you do the friction force divided by the normal force, if you rearrange this guy a little bit, that's all mu is. So the biggest force you can apply to this box is 40% of the normal force before it slips. You know, you can apply 10%, 20%, 30%. Before it slips, the friction force matches the push, but the biggest percentage of the normal force is going to be 40% uh, before the box slips. Anyway, that's what the static coefficient of friction describes. It's the portion of the normal force that is um, what the friction force can develop opposing this push. Friction is just sort of um, interference between the two surfaces. You know, this notebook looks smooth. It is not. It has little mountains and valleys if you zoom into a microscopic scale. And this calculator looks smooth, but it is not also. So, you know, when you push horizontally, these little mountains and valleys interfere with each other, and that's really what friction is. So you'll notice the static coefficient of friction is double the kinetic or the dynamic coefficient of friction. Khan says 0.4 compared to 0.2. Well, that's because when it's not moving, the little mountains and valleys nestle into each other. And when it is moving, the little mountains and valleys interfere, but not as much as when it's still. Anyway, the static coefficient of friction is usually bigger than the kinetic or dynamic coefficient of friction. So like I said, we're just going to find 40% of the normal force. Uh, what is 40% of 60? Well, 24. So 24 newtons is the biggest force that the box can resist before it slips, before it starts to move, except uh, 30 newtons is greater than 24, so we know this thing is going to start accelerating. So we're going to use the kinetic coefficient of friction. What is 20% uh, of 60? 12. Okay, so the backwards friction force is negative 12 newtons. We are applying positive 30 newtons, so the net force is going to be 18 newtons. And all you want to do is uh, F equals MA. We're in the horizontal direction. And once you find the net force of 18 newtons, all we do is solve for acceleration. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And let's see if we did this correctly. There you go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.